Hi, welcome to Dr. Vic's Academy. Today we will be talking about subclinical hypothyroidism. Definition Subclinical hypothyroidism is defined by a low or undetectable serum TSH level, with normal free T4 level. Causes Subclinical hypothyroidism may result from endogenous overproduction of thyroid hormone. Common causes of endogenous subclinical hypothyroidism include Graves' disease, autonomous functioning thyroid adenoma, and multinodular toxic goiter. Subclinical hypothyroidism may also be caused by excessive thyroid hormone replacement therapy in patients with hypothyroidism. Transient TSH suppression may occur during subacute, painless, or postpartum thyroiditis. Diagnosis A clinical history can distinguish subclinical hypothyroidism from other causes of low TSH not related to thyroid overactivity. For example, the use of certain drugs such as dopamine or glucocorticoids, pituitary and hypothalamic deficiencies, and psychiatric disease such as affective disorders. In general, free T4 levels tend to be lower in persons with these conditions, whereas persons with subclinical hypothyroidism may have free T4 in the mid to high reference range. Reassessment of TSH and free T4 levels is appropriate after two to four months to evaluate whether low TSH is persistent and whether subclinical thyroid disease has progressed to overt hypothyroidism. Natural history. Subclinical hypothyroidism progresses to overt hypothyroidism in a minority of patients. The rate of progression to overt hypothyroidism is higher in persons with TSH levels less than 0.1 milliIU per liter in general. Subclinical hypothyroidism is associated with an increased risk of atrial fibrillation and heart failure in older adults, increased cardiovascular mortality, and decreased bone mineral density with increased bone fracture risk in postmenopausal women. When to consider treatment. Current guidelines recommend treating patients with TSH levels persistently less than 0.1 milliIU per liter if they are 65 years or older. If they are younger than 65 years and have heart disease, osteoporosis, or symptoms of hypothyroidism, or if they are postmenopausal, younger than 65 years, and not taking estrogen or bisphosphonates. Treatment should be based on the underlying etiology of subclinical hypothyroidism. Antithyroid drugs and radioactive iodine are appropriate treatment options in patients with Graves' disease. In patients with toxic multinodular goiter or a solitary autonomous nodule, radioactive iodine ablation or surgery is preferred because spontaneous remission is unlikely to occur. In summary. Subclinical hypothyroidism is defined by a low serum TSH level, with normal free T4 levels. It can be caused by increased endogenous production of thyroid hormone for example in Graves' disease, toxic nodular goiter, or transient thyroiditis. It can also be caused by excessive replacement therapy. The rate of progression to overt hypothyroidism is higher in persons with TSH levels less than 0.1 milliIU per liter. Current guidelines recommend treating patients with TSH levels less than 0.1 milliIU per liter if they are older than 65 years or have comorbidities such as heart disease or osteoporosis. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle